the Russian government could be trying to extract significant concessions from the U.S. through a basketball player. Six months ago, Russia had arrested Brittany Griner. She is an American basketball star. Griner has been found guilty of smuggling. She has been sentenced to nine years in jail. The Biden administration is now under pressure to ensure Griner's release. Washington has offered a prisoner swap deal to the Kremlin. Will Vladimir Putin accept it? Here's a report. It was at this moment Brittany Griner's fate was sealed. The court has stated by accumulation of crimes to impose an imprisonment for nine years and a fine at a rate of 1 million rubles or $16,000. The punishment is to be served in general regime penal colony. Greiner will spend nine years in a Russian prison camp. Unless Moscow accepts a prisoner swap offer from Washington, in which case Greiner may walk free. As you all know, we have made a substantial offer to bring her and Paul Whelan home. We urge Russia to accept that proposal. Will the Kremlin accept? Russia has agreed to discuss America's proposal. But no one knows which way Moscow is leaning. Russia is in a position to demand more. Because of Greiner's high-profile status. She is a women's NBA champion and a two-time Olympic gold medalist in basketball. Greiner was detained way back in February this year at the Moscow airport. She was in Russia to play for a basketball team. But when Greiner passed through a customs check, her life turned upside down. Vape canisters containing cannabis oil were found from her luggage. Russian officials charged Greiner with smuggling. Last month, the basketball star pleaded guilty in court. My parents taught me two important things. One, take ownership for your responsibilities. And two, to work hard for everything that you have. That's why I play guilty to my charges. I understand everything that's being said against me, the charges that are against me, and that is why I play guilty. But I had no intent to break any Russian laws. U.S. President Joe Biden called Griner's conviction unacceptable. The State Department has termed her detention as wrong. But the American government doesn't have many options. Only a prisoner swap can ensure Greiner's release. The White House was prompt in putting an offer on the table. The details haven't been made public. But America can offer some high-profile Russian prisoners for exchange. One of them is Victor Bout. He is a 55-year-old arms trafficker. The world knows him as the Merchant of Death. Bout is serving a 25-year-long jail term in America. Another name on the list is Vladislav Klyushin. He was a Kremlin insider. Klyushin was extradited from Switzerland in 2021 on insider trading charges. It all comes down to which deal will be acceptable to Vladimir Putin. As specifically on the issue of persons convicted in Russia and in the US, I have already said that there is the special channel that was agreed by the presidents. Whatever might be said publicly, this channel is still relevant. The war in Ukraine destroyed the US-Russia relationship. America and Russia have snapped diplomatic ties. But talks for a prisoner swap have created an opening for some diplomacy. This leads to the question, is Brittany Griner being used as a hostage? Bureau Report, We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.